Hey y'all, this is Anya Dekotos. Welcome back. I hope you like my new Southern intro. Southern. Southern. See, that's a word that I still cannot say, but I can say y'all. And um, I am embracing the life in the South uh, and really enjoying it. So I thought, you know what? How about change up my intro and include y'all in it. So I hope you like that. So today's video is going to be all about feet and foot care and I know I've done a video in the past where I've talked about like my foot care routine and what I do and I don't actually remember if I've mentioned this particular um, product that I'm going to use today but uh, I decided that I do want to show you in depth of how this product works and before I get into it uh, let me just say I mean, I've said it before, um, foot care is really important to me and I've kind of been thinking about why that is in particular. So I think generally feet, uh, too many people, not all, uh, are not very appealing. And for some people, if you put your feet up on the table, they would be grossed out by it and be like, take your feet off the table, what's wrong with you? So because I do need to put my feet on the table all the time, and on my face and all of that, I do feel like my feet need to be extra cared for just to eliminate anybody being grossed out by them. So for that reason, um, I do spend a lot of time and a lot of effort uh, just making sure that my feet are not just clean, but um, you know, without any like dead skin and gross nails and all that stuff so that leads me to the product that we are going to be using today or that you are going to see me use we have the exfoliating foot peel mask for soft healthy and smooth feet i got these off of amazon and i will link these down below if you're interested in checking them out I was kind of hesitant because there's been some review there's been a lot of great reviews of this product um, but also I've seen some where people say they don't work so do they work or do they not we are going to find out I do have a bit of a warning here some of this video is going to be very graphic so if you are grossed out by dead skin, dry skin, peeling skin, any of that, um, the number you see on this screen is the time that you should skip forward to uh, to just see the final result of this foot peel mask and just skip over any of the gross parts. But if you do want to hang on and see how these things work and see the process, then um, just keep on watching. All right, so before we begin, I just want to show you what my feet look like before the whole treatment. Um, first of all, some of my nails broke like this one. What happened is I, um, these are the Soak of Gel uh, nail polishes that usually last me about two weeks. Um, but then I have to file it off with like an electric filer. And sometimes I don't know when to stop. So I accidentally filed a little bit of my nails. So they got very um, weak and flimsy, uh, this one especially. But anyways, so I am waiting for them to grow back. And hopefully by the time that the whole treatment is over, uh, they will be back in good shape. Although a lot of them still are. I just want to mention that uh, my feet were just soaking in the water for like an hour so you can definitely tell and now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close-up so if you can see here I mean obviously my cuticles need some work and the treatment actually works on those as well and then when it comes to the bottom of my feet um, my toes and whatnot are not actually bad at all, um, surprisingly, but the problem begins at my heels. So it's really difficult for me to twist my foot this way, but you can see my heels crack in some spots and there's definitely going to be a lot of skin peeling off of them. 
there's always skin peeling off the top of my feet too so it's just gonna take the whole top layer off no matter how thin or how thick it is and let me tell you if these particular ones work as well as the other ones that I've used it's going to be an amazing transformation although not as amazing as the first one was because my feet are definitely a whole lot better I've mentioned it in my previous uh, like foot care video that my heels especially this right one would always crack so much that um, sometimes it would bleed so that's not a problem anymore so these foot peel masks um, are just amazing and I highly highly recommend them in general not just the brand that I'm about to use so let's put these on all right so here we have it it looks very very nice exfoliating foot peel mask for soft healthy and smooth feet natural ingredients and botanical extracts so the pack has two of them in there we're going to cut the edge off all right So there you go, compared to my little foot. <laughs> These are always so huge on me. I mean, I feel like they're gonna, you know, cover half of my leg. Um, anyways, so you unfold it. I find these ones to be very confusing. They have the tabs here and it says open, but you're supposed to put your foot in here. What I'm going to do is cut along this line on each side and then stick my feet in there. Okay, now after you take the sticker off, you're supposed to actually wrap the mat, the sock around your ankle and secure it with this. I'm not going to do that because then it's really hard for me to take the sock off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these excuse this this is just cream um because when i put, i use these for the night and they do need to be washed but i assure you they're clean this is just cream um anyways when i put cream on my feet at night i put these on and the ends of it just rub the cream off my feet so that's why they look the way they do so I am going to, actually I'm going to do the right foot first. Okay. Okay, so inside is this other layer. It's very thin, but you're supposed to separate the two and then stick your foot in there as opposed to just on the side. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's got a lot of, ugh. Okay, so clearly my foot ends here, the heel ends there, but that is a-okay. Now I am going to take the sock and put my foot in. Okay, there you go. So it, this is going to ensure that um, it's tighter around here, but also that it's very um, close to my skin on the heel, which is where I need this the most. So one is down. Now the tricky part is getting the other one on <laughs> because now this foot is, um, yeah, not really usable. And now I need to separate these two layers. Ooh, I got it. Okay. So now because I can't grip this with my toes, 
I'm just going to um, hold it against the board that I have it on. And stick my foot all the way in. Now we're going to take this heel sock. Okay, this is tricky. All right, here is the finished product. It is um, sticking away on top, which is fine. I don't need the exfoliation there. I just need it up to my ankle right there. So this is good. And we are going to keep these on for, it says 60 to 90 minutes. So of course I'm just gonna go 90 minutes and then we're going to take these off, wash my feet and then we're going to wait. I have made it. The 90 minutes is up. It was absolutely dreadful. Me not using, not being able to use my feet for that long is just horrible. I would normally put these on at night, but since you have to take them off after 90 minutes, I mean, after I fall asleep, I wouldn't feel like getting up and I do have to wash this off. So, uh, let's take these off. As you can see, my feet are covered in whatever you call it, the solution. You rub it in. Wow, that's a lot of it. The smell is also quite strong. So because I need to wash this off, and I would normally take these off in the sink, but because I am filming it here in my room, I brought wipes so that I can wipe this off and go into the bathroom to wash it off. Ooh, I feel like one wipe is definitely not going to be enough. Ooh. So while I was waiting with the socks on my feet, uh, I did actually manage to squeeze my S Pen from my phone in between uh, these toes. And so I was able to somehow use my phone at least a little bit. All right, I have hopefully wiped off enough of it for me to walk to the bathroom to wash my feet. And I'm thinking I will definitely keep moisturizing my feet until then to kind of help speed up the process of the skin peeling off. All right, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and give you a second warning. You're about to get into the growth zone. So again, if you wish to skip over that, to the end of this video where I show you the result of how my feet look after the peeling is over. Skip to the time that you see on the screen. So I want to share an update number one with you guys. Um, so I did the mask on Thursday night. It is now Saturday night. And here's what is starting to happen. I have skin peeling off kind of on my knuckles, let's say, um, on my big toe, right here, closer to my ankle. And when it comes to the bottom of my foot, we're starting to see some peeling. Also, you see how shiny my foot is? Um, it's been like this. The second toe, can you see how weird the skin looks? I mean, it almost, you know how your skin gets shiny and weird feeling when you uh, have something that's swollen? Well, this is kind of what it feels like and what it looks like, except it's not swollen. But definitely starting to peel. I did just take a shower, so it showed up after the shower. And we are just going to continue checking in and seeing how it goes.
All right, so it is Sunday night and I just took a really long bath to soak my feet and this is what I came out with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it looks horrible. I hate this process. Here's my heel. There's skin peeling off everywhere. So taking a bath or just soaking your feet um, really does speed up the whole process. But just look at this. Okay, let me take tweezers so that I'm not blocking your view as much. Okay, so these pieces are coming off like crazy. The bottom of my foot is not ready to peel yet. I don't think it would just like break as I thought. But this top portion is actually quite satisfying to peel, especially when it's coming off so nicely. And I mean, like look at the skin over here. I mean, it is like baby soft. So I do have to say that uh, the, the peeling process started definitely a lot quicker than it did when I did it before. And oh my goodness, for anyone who has bought this off of Amazon, this specific brand, and said that it does not work, well here's proof that it works. Like, it completely, completely works. Alright you guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. Today is Tuesday and I have been just soaking my feet and like scrubbing and picking at it and this is where we are as of right now. There's still a lot. I feel like I've taken so much skin off my feet and yet this is still what we're dealing with. And here is my heel and the bottom. There is, it's just like never ending, seriously. Look at this. So the top of my foot here is looking pretty good, but the thicker skin, although I don't know why it's happening on my toes also, but, um, my toes and the bottom of my feet are definitely a lot, a lot worse. And I just feel like I can't do anything with my feet, especially when it comes to food and stuff. So I've been just getting really frustrated with it and I can't wait for this to be over. I just really need my feet back and I need them to be back to looking nice. Okay, this is just looking horrible. <laughs> Graphic as I've said, yes. All right, so here is the finished result. As you can see, no dead skin here. Now, when it comes to my heel, um, there's still just a few little, not cracks, but lines, but it's okay. I will keep moisturizing that and hopefully it'll um, get better. And obviously the top of my foot is looking nice as well. Now, I really, really wanted to show you this nail polish because it's like, oh my goodness. And of course on camera now, it's purple. I mean blue. From where I'm looking, it's purple. And then it changes to gold, all depending on the lighting. And I was gonna show you all the nails, but... Um, this is regular nail polish and I got so unused to regular nail polish that um, the whole thing got messed up. So these are the four that are looking the most decent. So there you go. 
So what do you think? I mean, obviously the the mask worked. Um, obviously the results I think are really really good. Um, I would, if I was really picky, I would probably do another one in like a month or so, just to get rid of those tiny spots on my heels, which I know if I did it the second time, it would have gotten rid of those. But the peeling process was just such a pain for me I just don't want to deal with it anytime soon but was it worth it yeah it was worth it and I do want to point out that the first time I did these um the skin was peeling off for like two weeks I'm not even joking you I did spend a lot of time soaking my feet this time and also a lot of hours with tweezers um tweezing the skin away so I just really, really wanted to speed up the process. Um, it's not pleasant for me at all whatsoever. Um, I mean, even touching material of any sort, uh, the skin would catch on it and it was just, oh, and let's not even talk about me having to put on moisturizer on my face with my feet looking like that. So here's what I'm going to do to hopefully prevent myself from ever having to go through that again. I have mentioned this product in the previous foot care video as well. It's the Heel Genius and this stuff is amazing. I have never ever in my entire life used a foot cream this good. I mean the results are amazing. It keeps, after I do the foot peel mask, it keeps the results. And the only reason why I had to redo the foot peel mask was because I ran out of this stuff. And I was like, well, let me just like use up all my other creams and, you know, before I go ahead and buy another one of these. And this is where things started to go bad. So I am, I've bought another one um, just in case and I will keep purchasing these. Um, over and over and over again and hopefully with regular use every night uh, obviously I don't put this on during the day I do use it during the night um, hopefully that will prevent um, any dry or cracking skin from ever happening again so I do want to um, read you something because I've never looked at the back of this packaging but it says no mean feet <laughs> feet should be friendly soft smooth even lovely to look at <laughs> and ain't that the truth i mean it generally nobody really pays much okay generally many people with some exceptions don't really pay attention to feet all that much not as much as maybe the face or whatnot but in my case uh yeah people pay attention to my feet um it's just hard not to notice my feet when I use my feet for everything so I'm so 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 glad that I have discovered this foot cream and I will continue using this and I just really hope that you enjoyed this very graphic video oh on a side note I did want to mention this too as much as I was happy with the way my uh, the skin on my feet looked I had the biggest trouble with my nails so I wanted to use this really cool nail polish which you've seen in the close-up shot and it just went completely wrong and then I took it off earlier today and redid my nails with the soak off gels and again I used the wrong nail polish it, it looks horrible if my nails actually turned out good, you would have gotten a much better shot of the way my feet looked after the whole treatment. So, apologies about that. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again next week. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!